Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. We'll talk about Buddha. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. It's 7.30 in London, it's 8.30 in Abuja, and it's 10.30 in Mecca. But you know what time it is. It's time for Viewer's Pulse. You guys know what show, this show's about. It's all about your guys, about your feedback. It's about what you think about us, what you think about us at Huda TV. What can we do to improve our channel, to bring new scholars, to bring new programs? This show's all about your ideas. So please, we're on live right now. So give me a call at 002 0238 or 249. I'm so excited, I even memorized the phone number and I have a bad memory. That number is again, 0202-38-555-248-249, which should now appear at the bottom of your screen. If you're in front of your computer, open up your Facebook, log in, and go to our Huda TV, facebook.com uh, backslash huda.tv. That's facebook.com backslash huda.tv, and post your comments. We posted a question of the day, which reads, uh, tonight's question on Viewer's Pulse, what would you like to see on Huda TV? Uh, we receive a lot of comments, so keep commenting, inshallah. I'll read your comments uh, live on the air now, inshallah. Of course, we have the email, which I check personally and respond to personally. Uh, the email is pulse at huda.tv, pulse at huda.tv, which also appear at your, on the bottom of your screen. And inshallah, I'll be reading your emails as well. I look forward to reading and replying to every email, so please shoot me an email, pulse at huda.tv. Now, before we get started, right now, most of us are enjoying viewers' pulse from the comfort and the safety and security from our own homes. I'm here, mashallah, very safe and secure in our studio here at Huda TV. But our good Muslim people in Syria are under a lot of pressure and oppression. So we need to pray for them and keep them in our thoughts and in our heart and support them any way we can, which begs the question, where are the so-called uh, uh, the, the champions and protectors of human rights, democracy, and freedom in these, in these countries, London, Washington, and, and Paris? Where are they? They've really exposed their hypocrisy they're just as bad as the governments in Moscow and Beijing. So before we get started on viewers, pulse and have a good time. Please say a prayer for the people of Syria and support them any way you can, inshallah. Uh, so all right, you guys, let's get into it. Um, let's go to our emails. Uh, I received an email, actually, uh, from Mr. Doc, uh, Dr. Ahmed Qureshi uh, from British Columbia, Canada, mashallah. He says, uh, I would like to thank Osama El shami for the wonderful programs he's presenting. Uh, Jazakallah Haidan for all the hard work involved in preparing the shows Together to Jannah and the Straight Path. If you guys don't know, you, you, you have to check out the Straight Path every Monday at 10 p.m. I believe in Cairo, 11 p.m. in Mecca, and uh, 9 p.m. inshallah in Nigeria. Uh, that's called the Straight Path. It's an all-new program. This brother, Osama Shemi, has done a great job. He's changed up the show. It's live. He's taking calls. He's making a lot of uh, interesting topics and, and bringing a lot of new and interesting guests. And of course, to get Together to Jannah, Jannah was a great show as well. Uh, we will air it from time to time. It, it was a great show, inshallah. So thank you, brother, uh, Dr. Akhman Qureshi, for your for your feedback. Uh, we also have a, a comment here from Ferdows from Minneapolis, Minnesota, from the USA. Um, uh, she writes, I love all of the programs. My favorites are Inspirations and Secrets of the Heart. I like those programs as well. And, and you know, we rerun them from time to time due to popular demand, so stay tuned. And inshallah, we will play those again for you. I'm interested to know if you can give us a call now or email me or post a comment on Facebook and tell me, how are you watching Hood TV in America? I'm pretty sure you're watching via the internet, www.hood.tv. But give us a call and let us know how, inshallah. I hope one day we launch in the United States, uh, inshallah ta'ala, in North America in general. Okay, so Facebook, we have 13 comments already. And actually, we, actually, we have a call. Sister Habiba, sister, how are you? From the UAE. I'm fine. How are, how are you? Uh, al alaykum salam, sister. Very, I'm doing good, alhamdulillah. How is everything? Everything is fine. I'm, I'm, I love you for the, sake, for the sake of Allah, all of you. Thank you so much. And We're working very hard for all the Muslims. Thank you, no sister. Problems. Sister Habiba, what kind of topics would you like to see on Huda TV? Oh, okay. Thank you, sister. What kind of topics would you like to see I, on Huda TV? I like uh, Ask Huda. Ask Huda, okay. Uh, the servants of Allah. Okay, servants of Allah. And uh, eternal message. Oh, excellent. Okay. What kind of topic uh, would you like to see us? Past, past viewers also is in my uh, liking also. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you, Sister Habiba. What kind of topic would you like us to present in the future? 
Do you have any ideas for new shows? Uh, most of the programs, uh, I mean, I like them, especially w the, regarding the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi of course, yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent manners and all these things. Okay. So that they make the Muslims, uh, I mean, be good people, humble, and everything. Okay, excellent, perfect. Thank you, Sister Habiba, for your call. And email me, Sister Habiba, if you have any ideas for, for new shows that come up into your mind later, because we're always looking to serve your guys' needs, and we need ideas as well to, to know how we can better serve all the Muslims all around the world. Uh, thank, you much for your, thank you very much, Sister, for your call, and thank you for your time, Sister Habiba from the UAE. Um, let's go to Facebook real quick. Um, we have here, the first comment was, our Sash Sultana, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce your name, I apologize. Um, she says, uh, my favorite programs are Ask Huda, Ask Dr. Zakir Naik, The Straight Path, which we were just talking about with uh, Brother Osama Shami, Stories of Prophets, and of course, she says, all programs, especially Sheikh Kareem Abu Zaid's programs. As you know, I had the honor to do a show with him. It was called Building a Better Future. Um, he has done a lot of good shows. I love the inedible journey. Alhamdulillah, he's uh, around and he does many shows for us. And inshallah, we hope to have him in the future. And I'll give you a little bit of uh, inside scenes behind Huda. He's now working on a, a program, inshallah, titled Nation of Goodness. And uh, I hope to present it with him, inshallah. But in any event, he's going to be talking about how to forbid the evil, excuse me, forbid the evil and enjoying the good. He's an amazing man. And I hope, inshallah, he, he, we, re, we record the program. We, I hope we record the program soon, inshallah. We have another caller. Go ahead. How are you? Alaikum Sam, brother. What is your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Kazura from Nigeria. Thank Kazura. you so much for calling, brother. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What kind of programs would you like to see on Huda TV? Uh, Akshuda. Akshuda. You like Akshuda? That's your favorite program? Yes, sir. Exactly, sir. Okay. But, but, but do, you, do you have any ideas for new programs as well? Uh, the new program I have idea is uh, there's some um, time a problem encounter in terms of conversation between Dr. Salha and Nigerians. Okay, excellent. That's excellent. Uh, we need a bit uh, either somebody for translation to Dr. Salha. Okay. Or somebody who who can understood okay. Nigerian speaking English. Right. That we can easily. Uh, understand the questions and the answer and the readings and so right. on, on your focus on Huda. Excellent, excellent. Okay, thank you, brother, so much for that. those comments. Actually, you might not know, we're working behind the scenes to bring some Nigerian scholars to the channel because, mashallah, we have a great viewership in Nigeria and we are working also to serve their needs. And so we're kind of working to find uh, some scholars for us. So if you know any, or, uh, you know, also email me at paulsa.huda.tv. And we're trying to bring, uh, also, like you said, brothers from all around the world, including, of course, uh, Nigeria. So, inshallah, you'll see that in the future soon on your, on your Huda TV screen, inshallah. Thank you, brother. Um, let's go back to the emails, you guys, if you don't mind. And let's read another email we have from, um, from Lynn Swaff. This was an excellent email. She says, can we please bring more programs by Imam Abu Zaid, which we talked about earlier, inshallah. We will, inshallah. Dr. Uh, Bilal Phillips. And bring and please bring in Sheikh Hussein Yee, and we'll talk about you, Sheikh Hussein Yee, in a second after we take this phone call. Go ahead, brother. Where are you calling from? What is your name? Go, I think we have a call on the line. Yeah, Sareed yeah. from Kenya. My name is Sareed. Yeah. Alaikum salam. How are you? Sareed from Kenya. Alaikum salam. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much for calling. Yeah, I'm calling from Kenya. I want you to show us Makhroom, Sheikh Makhroom. Okay. Yeah, so I drag him. Okay, excellent. Yeah, and, yeah, and to put in more about the topic about the Hajj. About so, the Hajj, you want more programs for Hajj, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, and to teach us about the Tawheed, something like that, yeah. Okay, perfect. Actually, I don't know if you watched The Straight Path a couple of weeks ago. We actually had a Kenyan scholar on the show, mashallah. But I uh, will take your advice. But can I ask you, how are you watching Huda TV in Kenya? On, on what satellite are you watching us? I'm watching TV. On now Arab sat or Arab sat or? Arab sat, Arab sat. Yeah. Oh, mashallah, very good. Okay. Well, excellent. We're going to work to bring yeah, scholars from, from Kenya as well. And uh, mashallah, well, thank you for your call. So do you have any ideas also besides, you said you want some programs for Hajj. What else? Yeah, about the Hajj. So, you know, so I drag it from Canada. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Ibrahim Yahya. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, 
Okay, I'll pass that information along to the brothers in the channel, inshallah. And we'll make more programs for you for Hajj, inshallah. Thank you so much, brother, for your call. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We have another call from Nigeria. So, so Haida from Nigeria, I believe. So Haida from Nigeria, go ahead. From Ghana. From Ghana. From Ghana. I'm sorry. How are you? Fine. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for calling in. Now, Sister, how are you watching uh, Huda TV in Ghana? On the TV or on the internet? On satellite. Oh, mashallah. Very good. On the TV, yeah. Oh, okay. So, what kind of programs would you like to see on Huda TV in the future? Do you have any ideas for us? Allah bless you. Bless you for the shows you've been bringing for us. It's wonderful. I mean, thank you. May Allah bless you too. And we work very hard on the channel to serve uh, the Muslims all around the world. May Allah keep us going in the right direction, inshallah. <laughs> Amen. 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 And please, can you kindly uh, educate us on Islamic banking? Okay. We have a program, yeah. I believe, about Islamic finance with Sheikh Shadi Soleiman, the Australian Sheikh, hosted by Muhammad Abdul Rahim from Now TV International. I think you should watch out for that show. Maybe we can rerun it. It's, it's called Islamic Finance, and he breaks down all this stuff Islamic about Islamic finance. finance. And also, if you have any questions about it, call in to ask Huda, because Dr. Muhammad Salah is, is amazing. He can answer all your questions regarding Islamic finance, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. So you want to keep that in mind as well. Okay. okay. Do you have any other topics you'd like us to address? or? No. And they did show to um. Oh, I think this call got cut off. Thank you very much, sister, for calling in. I appreciate it. It's nice to get callers from all around the world. We've had a call from Kenya and now uh, Ghana as well, mashallah. So very good. Keep calling in, you guys. Um, so in the meantime, I'll keep reading some emails, inshallah. This sister, Amina, doesn't say where she's from, but she says, I have over 2,000 channels on my TV. Oh, excuse me. I want to go back to Sheikh Hussein Yee. Uh, Lynn Suave said, please bring in Sheikh Hussein Yee. I like his work so much. I've seen him before on the Dean Show with Brother Eddie. I think he's a, uh, an amazing guy. I hope that we bring him soon, inshallah. His personal story is very interesting. I believe he's originally Chinese. I'm not sure, but he's a revert to Islam. He has a Buddhist background. So I hope to, I hope to bring uh, Sheikh Yusuf Yee, Yee in. And if he's watching, this is an open invitation, inshallah, to come to the TV. So thank you very much, uh, Sister Lynn Swan. Uh, for that email. So back to Amina's email. She says, I have over 2,000 channels on my TV, but for the past few years, I've only watched one channel, Huda TV. I have learned so much about Islam, Ramadan Hajj, etc. Huda TV has changed my lives and the lives of my children. I will continue reading this inspiring email right after we come back to a break. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Viewers Pulse live on Huda TV. <laughs> Ask Huda. If you're still in Mecca or close by to Mecca, then you have to know that you are still in the state of Ihram. As long as it is not for sale, mm -hmm. then he does not have to pay zakah for it. Forbade praying witter, similar to Maghrib prayer. Mm -hmm. So whoever prays witter three rak'ahs and sitting after the second rak'ah as if he's praying Maghrib prayer, this is forbidden, this is haram. To euthanasia is permissible with animals but not with human beings if an animal is suffering killing an animal for a legitimate reason is permissible both uh, are acceptable but the majority say that after the record is the place of uh, but both was reported have a question or concern on your mind Huda TV decided, based on popular demand, we will be bringing you an additional episode of Ask Hoda with Sheikh Azim bin Luqman Al-Hakim, live from Jeddah, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Welcome all of you to another exciting and new episode of your program, Let's talk. If we listen to someone talking about Islam, we should really know their credentials and if they really are the experts they say they are. This man is an expert in Islamic Sharia. <laughs> it's crazy. They use the knowledge for the sake of Allah. Media with its emphasis, with its agenda, with the spin. Okay, you guys, today we're going to talk about a very important topic that has been neglected by Muslims around the world. And they would say, Whatever happened in Somalia is a Somali problem. Whatever is happening in Pakistan is a Pakistani problem. Islam doesn't forbid people to, to adhere to technology. So you guys at home, you hear the doctor. He's telling you guys to be environmentally friendly, 
go pick up trash, plant a tree, do something good for the environment. It is our responsibility as Muslims. The Sheikh told us about two Egyptians who decided to move on the spot right. to look at the problem. Because I like the, the extreme sports. Yeah, right. And I tried to search what it is. Yeah, and okay. I know this is a cold part. Right? We hugged each other and he said, Abu Bakr is my, my best friend. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Viewers Post Live on Huda TV. Before the break, I was reading Amina's email. She says, Alhamdulillah for Huda TV. I would like to say that Quran and Death is my favorite program. I too love that program. It was with our beloved Sheikh Ibrahim Zidane. He's a very humble and kind man. And I hope, inshallah, he continues to do many, many programs for Huda TV, inshallah. She goes on to say, All I need now is Arabic. And inshallah, I hope and pray that Huda Academy will be the right academy for me. Which brings me to my next point. Don't forget to register for Huda Academy. www. Uh, HoodaOnlineAcademy.com and you can even uh, sign up for courses absolutely free. You just put your email in there and they send you free courses and a free series about a lot of uh, interesting topics. I think they're teaching tafsir, uh, um, Arabic language as well, hadith, uh, fiqh, you name it, they got it. So don't forget to enroll inshallah in Huda Academy. Um, let's go to Facebook, you guys, and see what's going on. But, but before we go to Facebook, let's take Aisha's call from Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum, sister. How are you? My name is Aisha. I'm calling from Nigeria. Thank you so much, sister, for calling. What's going on? How are you? I'm fine. My favorite program are Great Companions. Okay. And The Indivisible Journey. Yes, that's a great one with Sheikh Kareem, yeah. And the Building a Better Future. Oh, that's what you, so you really like Imam Kareem Abouze, inshallah, it seems like. Yes, I would like to ask Sheikh Kawim advice again. I like his program. Okay, excellent. We will try to rerun some programs for you. And I also want to tell you, sister, we have a new show, inshallah, that may be airing soon. Uh, we're planning to film it with Sheikh, uh, Imam Kareem Abu Zaid called The Nation of Goodness. So keep an eye out for that, inshallah. I think we lost sister Aisha's call from Nigeria. Thank you very much for calling in. Excellent. Let's go to Facebook. We have another, we have lots of comments here. The most recent comment is from Sister Soha Abdul Abdurrahim. She says, why aren't there any programs for cooking or handicrafts who, which women can do at home? That's an excellent question, Sister. Thank you very much for asking. We should pick up a, 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 an artsy handicraft program or we should pick up a, a cooking program. I think that's great, inshallah, something to consider because the, the sisters are half the ummah, so we have to address everyone's needs, inshallah. So thank you, Sister Soha Abdul Abdurrahim. For that comment, inshallah. Also on fa Facebook, we have Idris Abu Bakr Kufsa, who says his favorite uh, programs are Ask Huda, as Zachary Naik, Servants of Allah, and The Dean Show. I love The Dean Show with Brother Eddie. He's been doing it for a lot of years, and I heard he even shoots the program in the basement of his own home. SubhanAllah, it's very professionally done. So may Allah reward him and keep him going strong on his show. Also, Idris says, uh, Servants of Allah. I really like that program as well. The host was uh, our brother from the UK, uh, Hisham Bella, with uh, Sheikh uh, uh, Saeed Aghlad. He's a really great man, inshallah. We hope to have him in the future for more programs. Uh, we have some more Facebook. Let's keep going on the Facebook. We have uh, Sadiq Abu Bakr, who says his favorite shows are the following. As Zach, yes, we, we actually have a call. Omar Abdullah from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum, sister. How are you? Sister, are you, call, are you calling from Cairo, Egypt, or where? Yeah, from Cairo, Egypt. Why don't, why don't you come and visit us in the channel? Because we are located outside of Cairo. Okay, inshallah. <laughs> you. What's your favorite program, sister? Um, it's a lot, actually, at Koda and Let's Talk and, uh, like, uh, a lot of um, other oh, shows. Thank you, sister. Let's talk. That's my program. Yeah, thank you. What kind of programs do you want to see on Huda TV? Actually, I was wondering if there is any um, cooking shows or uh, like uh, shows for uh, like uh, some handicrafts or... Uh, oh, you know what? We just got a comment on Facebook, sister. Thank you so much about that. We will think about, we'll try to put some cooking shows or some handicraft shows. I think it's a great idea that yeah, uh, like, it's, uh, uh, in, we're in great what, need of that. Um, as well, but what about uh, like uh, some um, advices for women, like uh, for uh, like fatwa for women or uh, like... Um, just uh, just issues or just a program or a show just uh, for women talks and like uh, 
how we can, um, like, um, uh, the, the fiqh or the aqidah for the women, how they can pray properly, how Perfect. they can make salakah and zakah, all these stuff just for women, that, you know, like. Perfect. We'll, we'll address that. Actually, sister, we had a, a, our, our Australian Sheikh, Shadi Suleiman, was, uh, we're hoping, inshallah, to film soon with him a program called Pioneering Women. It's all about women in Islam and what they contribute to the Muslim Ummah. So we'll definitely take your advice, sister uh, Omu Abdullah from Cairo, Egypt. Do you have anything else for us, sister? No, thank you so much. Well, thank you for calling. Jazakallah. Thank you so much, sister, for calling in. Salaamu Alaikum. Thank you very much, sister. Okay, so uh, Omu Abdullah as well. She's saying she wants some... Uh, some shows are about the women, inshallah. Like I said, we have a show, inshallah, coming soon. We hope to film soon called Pioneering Women with Sheikh Shadi Suleiman, who's great. And he's going to address all the, the, the biographies of, 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 and the contributions and achievements made by Muslim women throughout the history of Islam. It's going be great, inshallah. Uh, we have Awl from Nigeria. How are you, brother Awl? Uh, Alhamdulillah. And how are you, brother? Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. I can thank you for calling. Yeah, mashallah. Uh, last week, I called regarding... Uh, Sheikh Ahmed did that programs and yes. he said, Inshallah, you forward it to the board. Yes, so I, I did. I actually said it in our board. meeting, actually. I, I remember you, I will, Brother Awal, and I remember you had uh, suggested Ahmed did that, and I did tell my boss. And Inshallah, we hope to bring him uh, his videos, Inshallah. Okay, okay. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, Brother. No problem. Brother. What else? Do you have any other ideas for us going in the future? Any new ideas you'd like to see us do? New programs or. Pardon? Do you have any new ideas for us as well? Do you like to see any new, new ideas, new topics we can address? I think we lost brother Owl. Uh, he's a I very... You. Oh, there you are. Go ahead, brother. Uh, the network is breaking. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I think the phone line is... Maybe we can call back on another line. Brother Owl, I'm sorry about the connection. doesn't seem that good. But thank you very much for calling. And yes, I did remember to mention Akhmad Didat to the, ch to the brothers in the channel. I hope we bring him soon, inshallah. Uh, his, his videos, may Allah have mercy on him. He's passed away. Uh, so thank you much, very much, brother, for calling in. We have another call from the UAE. S Sister Seba from the UAE. Go ahead, sister. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam, sister. How are you? Uh, Alhamdulillah, Sheikh. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Thank uh, you so I much for calling in. I have uh, two suggestions. Okay. Number one is that I really wish you would speak a little slowly. I'm you sorry. Speak so fast. You know, everybody tells me <laughs> that, but I, I always talk too fast. Saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you and very much, the sister. Second suggestion is that you know, is it possible that uh, there can be some uh, lady, um, uh, maybe she's wearing hijab and, you know, uh, in a daytime program for ladies, the ladies can ask their personal questions. Okay. Sometimes ladies but, do not have so much of religious knowledge and they don't know who to ask. And yeah. it's a little bit embarrassing when they ask questions you ask in Ask Khudar or other places. Yeah. For male, uh, uh, shake. Okay, so I see your point. A ladies program in the daytime where the men are not watching, only the ladies at home are watching. You know, that's and a great... It can be, it'll be very interactive and very interesting and we'll have more... Uh, knowledge in you know ladies matters which are so oh that's an excellent concern it's an excellent yeah, point uh, i think we can i'll definitely pass that Thank feedback you. along and I, I you're absolutely right you know we need to uh the women also need some 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 uh, some room to to ask questions and that sort of thing so okay yes yeah, certainly sister we can certainly think about that and i'll put that idea forward to the the people here in the channel inshallah did you have any uh, like a specific idea for a program oh i think a line dropped okay thank you sister seba from the uae Thank you much for, very much for calling in. And like I said, I will pass that information along. And I will take your advice and try to speak slower, inshallah. <laughs> Let me go back to our emails real quick, you guys. Before we close the show, we don't have that much time. We have, um, let's see here. We have a lot of emails. How about this email from Omu Sabrina? She says, Assalamu alaikum, brother. First of all, I would like to congratulate Huda TV for their award. I don't know if you guys watched the last episode, but Huda TV recently uh, received the Award of Excellence presented by the Forum for Social Studies based in Jeddah with branches in the UK and Canada. And it was, a, it was an award given annually to uh, uh, Islamic uh, media, excellence in Islamic media in the English language. So thank you very much, Omu Sabrina. Unfortunately, we're out of time for Viewers Pulse. So you guys got to tune in next week at, uh, you know what time it is. It's time for Viewers Pulse once again next, next Tuesday. So I look forward to seeing you then. Until next time, I leave you in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We'll talk about Huda. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Huda is the light in your home. We'll talk about Huda. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. 
Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home.